All right, it's been a busy week, and to end of the week, we of course get the University of Michigan uh, consumer sentiment, and I gotta tell you, it's uh, it's looking pretty slumpy. Okay, so we went from an 85.5 to an 80.8 in the preliminary July data. Keep in mind that, you know, it takes them like a week to finalize the data, which is really, really weird, but um, you know, whatever. That's looking really, really bad. Conditions for buying houses, conditions for vehicles, conditions for large household durables, have all gone down and are looking really, really bad as well. The consumer spending intentions, buying plans in the next six months, again, covering homes, appliances, automobiles, so bigger purchases, have all completely tanked to uh, really, really low levels. We have the bad buying conditions are at all time highs. So essentially what that means is that conditions for houses, durables and vehicles are all showing highest levels. We have the reason for not buying a house unanimously across the board, just about seven to three that it's based on price, which this buying data represents the worst that we've seen since 1982. Now we can see here that the um, the New York Fed consumer survey mixed with the now U of M consumer survey data just about matching up, looking pretty much the same. Uh, right around five, 4.8 to five is the inflation expectations. And then lastly here, another look at the home buyer sentiment versus the home builder sentiment. <laughs> of course, home builders are really jacked right now because the average home price from what I was reading, this was back in June, was up $35,000 for average new house build. I think it's gone up since then, but the home buyer sentiment is flashing lows. Uh, I think these are all time lows. Going back to 1985, there wasn't a low that looked this bad. We're reaching into big, big means, meaning that there's a gap between the reality of the price and the current price and means have to revert at some time. And so these are, this is another big block of, of area, right? Used car vehicles are up 10%. They represented one third of the CPI pump that we saw, okay, in the CPI data. We see homes uh, at record high levels, used homes, new homes, right? Record high levels. These are all things that there's a mean reversion that has to occur at some point and snap back. It might take longer for something like um, food and, and um, some of these other areas to snap back because there's also supply chain issues going on with them right now. But things like home buying and used car vehicles, those are bigger areas. And I, I expect because we've strayed so far away from the, the, the average that you should see a more aggressive pullback when we do eventually see that. So anyways, just quick update for you. If you like this video, or you wanna help us spread this message in the algorithms and, and get us trending on YouTube better, just hit the like button, comment below if you got something to say, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new here or you like this sort of thing, and uh, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any updates. Be on the lookout, more videos coming soon, see ya.